Bro, this is the best day of my life, bro. Warning. All stunts performed in this video were conducted by trained professionals in a safe, controlled environment. Super safe. Do not try this at home. What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another video, man. And today, we're going to be going over my updated 2022 gun collection. Now, this collection consists of a lot of different things. Airsoft, gel blaster, water gun, water bead, paintball, splatter ball, real firearm, firecracker, firework, you name it, I got it. Hey, I don't feel like adding up the um, price of every firearm and every gun that I got because that's a lot of math and um, we don't got time for that. So, I'm just going to save y'all the time. My collection probably worth between $7,000 and $8,000, but that's pretty close to ten, so we're just going to round it up. My collection worth damn near $10,000. I'm also doing a big giveaway at 400,000 subscribers. We're growing really fast, so I want to keep giving back to you guys. If you're interested in winning any of these gel blasters, airsoft, or any BB pellet, whatever, Make sure you subscribe and stay tuned because I got a lot of giveaways coming and I got more information at the end of this video. We just gonna start off with my most expensive piece so we can get that out the way. This bill right here cost me a little bit over 3,000 I believe because the gun by itself, Daniel Defense um, DDM4 V7 cost about 1,800 but you feel me after taxes probably like closer to two bands and then the magnifier was 200 the sight another 300 um the light that's another 200 i think and some change but you know shout out to olight because i got a great partnership with them shop olight use code esai at checkout 10 percent off your order it's super bright olight i don't know why y'all talk bad about olight i love my olight um what else I got a bipod coming in for it, so I'm gonna have the bipod and um, the iron sights. So yeah, it was probably closer to 3,000. Now you feel me? This thing is chambered in 556, so 556, 223. It will knock your top off, but you know, I do love it all black. This is my Batman build. If y'all don't know, I'm Batman. So you feel me? I like that all black on black. Y'all know I drive an all black Camaro with tinted windows, 5% around the whole thing. You feel me? I'm literally Batman. So that's out the way. That was like 3,000 right there. Now, while we're on the note of real firearms, I'm just going to keep going on those. A lot of y'all say, yo, what if you accidentally mix up your airsoft collection with a real gun? Now, let me tell y'all something. I made a whole video explaining how I'm not going to mix up this with this but i store them in different locations my airsoft guns you feel me i'll throw them anywhere i don't care but wherever i set my real guns at i know where i put it at last so even for this video i didn't even grab my 19x out of the safe so we'll go grab that after i show you all my 43x this is my glock 43x right now it's scratched up i'm not gonna lie i kind of torture tested it it wasn't a on purpose torture test, but you feel me? I kind of torture tested it a little bit. But um, let me make sure we're clear. So we are clear. Hey, safety number one priority. YouTube, I love your guidelines. I love being safe for my um subscribers. But look, check this out. Got the custom slide plate on the back. It's the Raiders logo. You know, Raiders Nation. Stand up. We win the Super Bowl this year. Um, it's Cerakoted like a little gray camo. I still got the standard sights on there. Um, I got a whole grip. Y'all see the whole grip? Love it, love it. Shield Arms 15 round magazine, W. I love my 43X. Now, I'll show y'all my other nine millimeter pistol. Y'all come with me. Right over here, you come to my safe. So I'm going to show y'all my safe real quick. Hold on. I don't think we introduced y'all. This is my Pine World K5 safe right here. It has five digits so you can make your own password. And it got a fingerprint and it has an app. So you could use your app to open up the safe. But I just really love using my fingerprint. You could add more than one fingerprint. So you feel me? I can use my thumb. Or if I want to use my pointer finger. 
Boom, boom, boom. I don't think I added my pinky, so let's try my pinky. Err, not getting in. But you feel my thumb? We locked in, twin. But here go my 19 next. Boom, boom, boom. Shout out to Pine World. Don't mind my room. It's a little messy, bro. This is the life of a Twitch streamer, bro. You feel me? It's just my room pretty messy right now. Don't worry, I'll clean it up before your mama get here tonight. <laughs> nah, man. But, um, yeah, so another cleared firearm. But, yeah, I got this Cerakoted as well. Um, whole grip. Y'all gonna be seeing a lot of old light today. I rock with them. Got the laser and it got the flashlight. So, best of both worlds. Um, I did throw a custom slide plate on there. Got it off Amazon. Um, I do got the glow in the dark Gen 5 sights too. So, my 19 next, it's all right. You feel me? I wouldn't say it's top tier, but you know, it's a little something, something. I do got the drum magazine for it. Uh, you feel me? 50 shots. This joint has never jammed on me, so I love it. I pray to God it never jammed on me, but you know, I don't, I'm not in the field for real, you know. Don't get this confused. I love firearms, I love guns, but I'm not posting these and then, you know, doing drills with them at nighttime because I'm fighting crime at night, you feel me? I'm Batman. But I'm just saying I hope it never jam on me at the gun range because that's the only time I should ever have to use my guns, you feel what I'm saying? I'm not using these guns illegally, so please don't get that confused. But why would I have a whole YouTube channel and show y'all all my guns if I was doing anything illegal with them? I'm not that stupid. I'm not going to lie to y'all. Yeah, that's my 19X, that's my 43X, you feel what I'm saying? I don't store these with my airsoft guns, so hopefully I would never get them mixed up again. Because I did do it one time, I only got them confused one time, only two people died, it wasn't that bad, get over it bro, it won't happen again. So yeah man, shout out to um Pine World with this safe, I'll give y'all a link if y'all want to go cop this um perfect it actually holds two firearms, so I can put my 43X and my 19X in there. I love my safe. Also, man, make sure y'all reading your Bible, man. I'm not perfect either, so I need to read my Bible more, but you feel what I'm saying? Make sure y'all reading your Bible. Keep God in your life. It's one more that I really want to show y'all, but it's getting seracoded right now. Next up, we do got the 19X Airsoft version, so this is what made me want to get my 19X when I first got the Airsoft BB gun. I was just so in love with the 17 frame, with the compact slide of the 19. It was just like the perfect handgun for me. So once I bought this BB gun off Amazon, I knew I was going to own the real one one day. And it just came sooner than I expected. You know what I'm saying? Like, whoo. How that boy Young and Gunna be rocking his slide? He be like, you feel what I'm saying? I be, I'm tight like that. Like, he be. Them boys be tactical as hell, them boys. Stupid ass, I'm glad. But nah, Fredo, yeah. I don't really think I gotta go into too much detail. I'm just gonna be showing y'all all my guns because this video is gonna be way too long if I sit here and talk about everything. All right, so next up, we got the 23 right here. I have the 23. This is the Gen 3 23, right? Got a switchy on it. This is Airsoft, though. So you feel me? Don't come kicking down my door for none of that. I don't got switches illegally. Everything I do on this channel is legal. But um, yeah, fully automatic, six millimeter BB. I love it, man, I love it. Now let's get over to the bed. Hey, yo, pause. Next up, we got the Glock 19. This is your standard Glock 19. This was my first BB gun. Um, Gen 3, got the finger grooves. This takes a stick mag, and this takes 6mm BBs as well. So, when I say BBs, I mean airsoft pellets, little plastic beads. I do not mean BBs like metal projectiles that y'all be using. These are BBs. Everybody always get that confused in my comments. They're always like, what, what's a BB gun, what's an airsoft? Airsoft is plastic. BBs is metal beads i do not own any bb guns anymore i got rid of all my bbs and i only have airsoft 
because I'm not getting shot with no BBs ever again. If somebody shoots you with a BB gun, you should shoot back with your real gun because you feel what I'm saying? If you're getting hit with these, you're basically getting hit with a real gun. Like, I'll be damned I'll let somebody shoot me with metal projectile bullets and I'm not sending nothing back. So, that's a dub. Get, get airsoft or get you a splat. You feel what I'm saying? Matter of fact, get you this thing right here. This is my Splatterball SRB 1200. It costs about $150, I think, off Amazon. Um, drum magazine, full auto. Um, the battery is not connected right now, but this thing shoots extremely fast. It shoots water beads, like the little pellets. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all know what water beads are, but um, it shoots really fast. And this thing hurts, bro. I'm not gonna lie. It hurts more than some of my airsoft guns. Real talk. Next up, we got another gel blaster. This is a Glock 17 gel blaster. Um, the beads sit at the top. So this magazine is actually just a battery. It's not where you load the beads at. But you put the thing at the top and it shoots. Rapid fire, pretty fast. Um, I'll probably rate this thing like a, a six out of ten. I think it costs like sixty dollars on Amazon, or maybe might be cheaper. I don't know. This thing's pretty cheap on Amazon, so I'll link all my products that I have in the description. If you want to find any of these toys, go in the description of this video, and you can um, just go on Amazon and copy one. All right, so while we're still on the topic of gel blasters, this right here is my Floyd Mayweather Surge gel blaster. There was only like 15,000, I believe, made in the world. So I'm one of 15,000 people that own this um, limited edition collab between gel blaster and Floyd Mayweather. So I barely shoot this. I only shot this one time when I opened it, but then I put it back in the box and I don't use it. Maybe one day I'll sell it for a couple million billion dollars. But next up, we got my Glock 17. This is a Gen 4 Airsoft. It's Cerakoted gold, you like that. Got the finger grooves, has a working slot. Ooh, that joint needs some oil. But yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty clean. Like I said in the unboxing video, it looked like honey mustard yellow on the camera, but in real life, it looked a little bit more golden. I don't know why the camera don't do her no justice. I also got the Glock 18C. This was my first full auto airsoft gun. This is probably a lot of y'all's dream airsoft gun right here. I'm not going to lie. I was so excited when I first unboxed this almost a year, almost two years ago. I think I got it like February 2021, something like that. Um, yeah, it got a full auto switch right here, semi up top, full auto down low. Got the um, laser rail right there. I put an O light on there, got the cut, uh, finger grooves. It feels really nice to shoot. It comes with the um, extension, I don't know where the mag at, but it comes with a 50 round um, extended magazine. So, you know, if you got the money to cop this, it's on Amazon, linked in my description. I think it's about $200. So if you like Airsoft and you got the bread, I would say go for it. But I wouldn't say spend your last couple of dollars on it. But hey, y'all going to do what y'all want to do regardless. So if you want that 18C, go get you that, my boy. Next up, we got the Gold Glock 26. This is the um, magazine that comes with the 18C. So if you order a Glock 18C, it comes with a 50 round extension. Cause you know, who wants to shoot full auto without a long mag? If you shoot full auto on 10 rounds, that's nothing. You need a lot of ammo. So this also has a full auto switch. I think I got like four or five switches on my Glock Airsoft. And on, no, I'm just playing. <laughs> No, I don't own any switches. Let's see if this magazine got any air in it. No, it don't. 
But yeah, if you want to see this thing shoot, just go to my other videos, man. It's real fast. Um, working slot. Sounds real. It got the safety on the trigger like the real Glocks. I don't know if y'all can see it, but yeah. Real clean, real nice custom engravement. It actually says Eguop right there in French. So, you feel me? This is one of one in the world. I'm running out of room to put the guns on my desk. This is too much. Next up, we got the double barrel Glock 17. Look at this thing. Double finger grooves, so I could double fist. Hey, yo, I could double, double handle this. Boom, 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 boom. You feel what I'm saying? Boom, 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 boom. I'm trying not to flag, y'all. I'm not trying to point it at the camera, but boom, you feel what I'm saying? It only has one sight, though, so, you know, there's pros and cons with that. If you think about it, the barrels are on the sides, so if I'm pointing it right here, you feel me, it's going to hit right here and here. So you, if you got to calculate that, but hey, it's double the trouble. So two magazines, they, they together though. You feel me? They're not coming apart. These two magazines go together. Um, I don't think they sell an extension for the double, double barrel, but if they do, I got to cop that. I wanted to get the double barrel Glock 18C so I could have a switch and shoot two Glocks full auto at the same time, but it sold out everywhere. Like the only website that I knew could sell it to me was sold out. So they was like, we could send you the 17 instead. And I was like, man, just go on and send it, bro. But I want that full auto double barrel. And I still might get it. Who knows? But yeah, that's that. Oh yeah, I got nowhere to put the rest of my gun, so next up, we got my Gel Blaster M4A1. Um, it did come with the red dot, but my red dot fell off in my closet, and I don't know where it's at, so I don't really feel like looking around, but y'all get the idea. It's real nice. It's a clean looking um, Gel Blaster, and you should not go outside with it because, well, Results may vary. If any of y'all are purchasing any gel blasters or Glock airsoft guns that look this real, no orange tip, please be careful outside, bro. We don't need to be losing lives over fake replicas, man, please. Be like me, bro. I don't even go outside. I'm inside all day. I'm not even legally allowed to go outside, so I actually have to sit in the house all day, but don't bring your guns outside acting like they real if they not. And don't go outside with real guns, you know, looking for trouble, man. Use your firearms, self-defense. Don't be out there sliding on the ops, man. Just, you know, God gonna take care of it. Next up, we got a 1911 Airsoft 6mm BB. This is the Baby Yaga. Um, people say I say that wrong. I think it's like the, the Baby, Baby Gaga or something like that, whatever, but... I really could care less. Um, it got some nice sights on there. Uh, the the slide racks so smooth, it's like butter. It's like a um, a stacko. I almost could like, you feel what I'm saying? I could almost air rack this thing like that. Not quite, but it's so smooth that it almost could. Like y'all, that thing is so smooth. Um, look at that nice beaver tail though. I really like 1911s not to the point where I'm gonna be copping them and make a whole 1911 collection like my Glocks, but they're pretty to look at you feel what I'm saying I say you feel what I'm saying way too much. Let me stop that got a pretty barrel in there um, Got the back safety so the trigger won't pull Unless you have applied pressure on the back side Looks pretty nice, right? Spice up the collection also got the Glock 45 right here. This look very real as well, but it's airsoft. Chambered in 6 millimeter BBs. It's pretty much just a Glock 19X, but just black. And nothing's wrong with being black. I'm not saying it's it's worse than the 19X because it's black. Because I have, I have it too, because you feel me? I buy black. I'm not saying I buy black because we don't do that. No, I'm playing. But... <laughs> Yeah, I love the Glock 45. Look at the Glock 19X and the Glock 45 side by side. Same gun, different colors. But um, this one's live loaded, 
So let's give her some shots. Ooh. Ooh. Batman like it. Um, yeah. I like it. I love it. I'll probably end up getting the Glock 45 um 9mm as well. Oh Chopper Boy, Chopper Boy. Next up, I got my Draco right here. This is my 762 baby. Um it's actually an airsoft gun as you could tell. But I will be getting the Drake soon, trust me. I'm gonna get my Drake. Y'all see me with that gold Drake in my hand from Hustle, but I need a gold Drake. I ain't gonna lie, that Drake Golden just so crazy. We need a diamond Drake. I'm finna master prestige, max prestige, gold camo, diamond camo, my Draco. We're gonna see. My Draco, my Draco. But yeah, banana clip. Um basic iron sights, you know. I ain't really do too much upgrades to this, but I'm never getting hit with this again. If I get hit with this again, I might actually shed real tears because we did a spin the bottle with this and um, my friends was getting hit with it. I was getting hit with it and the video ended up getting age restricted because this thing inflicts way too much pain with real wounds. So if you haven't seen that video, make sure I go check it out. I bought this off uh, Airsoft website, not Amazon. So that's how you know it got serious, man. You feel me? I should have just stuck to reviewing the little Glocks off Amazon. Because once y'all kept telling me, you're not buying real Airsoft, go to Evite, go to um Airsoft Unlimited, whatever they call. I bought the Drake, and then I started bleeding. So, I don't really need to get into Airsoft for real. I'm just stick to the little Amazon jumps. Next up, we got another Amazon special. The AK-47. Um, the stock is hollow. Y'all hear that? That's where you put the battery in that. There's nothing in there but the battery and some space. So, it's real lightweight. This thing probably weighs like two pounds. Way lighter than the Draco. This Draco is hefty, hefty light. This joint's like five pounds. Six pounds, this thing's solid, I don't know. But this AK is like a pound. Real light, full auto, semi-automatic. Got the um, select fire switch right here, and it does work. The Draco has this as well, I didn't show it, but it has that as well, adjustable um, sights. So, I'm probably gonna give this away in the giveaway. At 400,000 subscribers, I'm gonna be giving away most of my guns because I don't even use them no more and they just take up space in my room like I'm showing y'all right now. But obviously I can't give away everything. But the stuff that I don't use, I'ma tell y'all about, I'ma give it away. Um, I got another Glock 17 right here. We already got like five Glock 17s, so I don't even have to explain that no more. Alright, so we're getting close to the end. I know y'all be like, damn, bro. You just gonna keep talking. No, I'm trying to finish. That's what she said. But I got the Tipman Cronus. Um, I don't know the exact words, but it's a Tipman Cronus paintball marker. Um, it's semi-automatic. Takes CO2. Um, yeah, it's a paintball gun. I've done like two videos with it. So, if you want to see me get hit with it, go watch those videos. Um, I got the Double Eagle. I think it's the M401 shotgun. Pump action. Um, takes 6 millimeter BBs. And this thing also shoots extremely powerful. So, it actually made um, Kevin bleed. I remember Kev did a video with this. He got hit in the face and I'm pretty sure he was leaking. So... Yeah, this thing is no joke. Even though it's a spring-powered airsoft gun, it's pump action. So that spring is longer and it shoots the BBs faster. So if you get this, please be careful. If you get anything, please be careful with it because you feel me? We take our safety very seriously over here on Eastside Givens channel and EGWAP affiliations. But... 
you know, we still like to have fun. You can have fun while being safe. So always remember to wear eye protection. Face up. All right, we're getting close to the end, boys and girls. Is there any girls? Hey, shout out to any girls that watch me. Because, you know, I don't discriminate. You know, girls can like guns, too. Guns are for everybody, not just guys. You know, I'm all for it. Shout out to my boy, Chris TV. If y'all not subscribed to Chris TV, go check his channel out. He got this series going called Guns and Girls Wednesdays, I believe. Women's and Firearms Wednesdays. So, basically, he's teaching women in his life how to properly use and handle firearms. I think it's amazing. Cause you know, a lot of people are scared of guns, not just girls, but you know, when people learn that guns are not scary and you know how to use them, how to handle them, the world will become a better place. But let's keep going. I got the Well D91 Uzi, full auto. Um, we got that long orange tip. So it's like basically a suppressor, but this thing's still very loud. But yeah, I got that. I got an AK-47 gel blaster. This shoots BBs, no, I'm stupid. I literally just said it's a gel blaster. This is a gel blaster, it shoots water gel. It's an AK. It came with a sight, it's somewhere in my closet as well. And lastly, I think this is my last one. I hope it's my last one. If it's not my last one, I'm gonna make it my last one. This is my Beretta ARX 160. Um. It was one of my first airsoft guns. I bought it off Amazon and I lost the magazine. It's somewhere in here, I don't know. But yeah, um, full auto, semi-auto, foldable stock, iron sights, all that, yep. So let's get a recap of what we just witnessed. All right, so I have about eight Glock airsoft guns. I got the nine mil 43X, the nine mil 19x in the safe got all these gel blaster airsoft water bead paintballs glock airsoft glock gel blaster jaunts over there the floyd mayweather surge blaster and all this right here so yeah that's around eight thousand nine thousand ten thousand a million dollars but let's talk about the giveaway man so basically, y'all see all this, man. Y'all see all these guns that I don't use every day that just take up space in my room, take up space in my closet, take up space on my desk. And y'all, all y'all watching this video are more than likely interested in owning one of these. So, so why not have a giveaway, man? At 400,000 subscribers, make sure y'all follow me on Instagram. So if you do get picked as the winner, I can hit you in your DM. You can send me your shipping address. And then I can send you out this airsoft gun. If you're under the age of 18, I'm going to need your parents' permission. Make sure it's legal in your state. You feel me? We're going to do everything legally. Airsoft, gel blaster. I'm not going to be sending any firearms. But, you know, we can, we can make something happen. I might do some cash app giveaways or something else that if you don't have Instagram, you can still win. Okay? I got PlayStation cards, Roblox cards xbox amazon we'll do a lot of different giveaways too like we have in the past but we're gonna keep going keep giving back honestly i just want to get rid of some of these guns because it's too much for me bro it's honestly too much for me to keep in my closet under my bed i'm running out of space for it but if you watch the video all the way through you're amazing i just want to let you know you're amazing because you probably got hit with some ads you might have had to pause the video to go take out the trash. You might have wanted to go to sleep because you was tired, but you just kept watching. So I appreciate you for that. And if you did watch this video all the way to the end, comment Coke Butter Cheese. All right. But yeah, man, make sure y'all subscribe for the giveaway. Follow my Instagram and check out my Twitch. Y'all see this? I did not buy this whole PC setup. For nobody to come to my live stream. So I need y'all to subscribe to my Twitch. And come to my live streams man. Come on now. But yeah I appreciate y'all. We got to start dropping more videos. I got a collab with Kevin DeLeon coming soon. Got some other collabs in the works. Other video ideas I want to do. But yeah let's, let's get this thing back rolling man. I feel like I took a little bit of time off from YouTube. But I'm trying to get back into that. Three to four uploads a week. 
I want a daily upload, but you know, that was really stressful. So we're going to try to aim for like three videos, four videos a week. All right. Appreciate y'all. I'm going to catch y'all my next video, man. What's good, YouTube? Freeze! I don't want to be a YouTuber anymore, bro. I stuttered too much, bro. <laughs>